Liner. Yeah. <laughs> well, Brick, you guys are talking to Brick too? Saturday. Saturday, huh? yeah, Saturday. Uh, Hi. <laughs> There's some talk about uh, you guys picking up the pace even more this year. Is that the plan? Uh, the plan? Yeah, we're trying. Well, I think there should be just a natural little bit of pace picking up. Even, all right. Is that, is that two, well, we'll is go, we'll two go adjectives that. or we'll something? Double, like double it. what? Double something. A double, double. <laughs> double, yeah. double. You're in mid-season. <laughs> Sounds yes. good. Double, double. Um, <laughs> Just because now this is the third year that these guys have been in this offense, so um, so obviously the, I thought the kids have really done good with the communication and a lot of carryover that they brought from last year. So ho I would hope that we would we would be able to you know be a little bit smoother in our our transition from play to play and be able to have a little more speed with it. Jim was all saying he wanted to change the tempo. I mean, sometimes go fast, sometimes go slow. Who said that, Jim? Oh well, then I guess that's what we're doing. <laughs> If you said Brett, I said, hell no. If you said, Jim, I'm with you. All right, yeah, we're going to change it. Sometimes fast, sometimes slow. Right. Brett said you guys were maybe going to go a little more vertical this year. Is that him being in that third, his third season? Is that well, and I think the other thing is, is I think we're going to have a little bit of experience in the old line. So, you know, obviously that was in the back of my head all last year when you got, you know, some young pups in there. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I think, I think that gives us a chance to maybe – Extend the extend the field a little bit. So it's only been two practices, but have you seen that Brett took some strides in the off season? Yeah, without a doubt. You know, and, and and not so much. I mean, I always I always think about it as when I when 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 he looks over and and he knows about two about one hand signal into the play, he already knows where it is. He stops looking at me. So I know I know he's really catching on. To, he knows the offense. He understands what we're trying to do with it, and I think he's had a great off season. He's really studied hard. He's been. He's done a great job this spring, before spring ball, of studying, getting around guys to help him become a better quarterback, um, understanding the game, watching a lot of film. So he's he's becoming. Um, you know, I really just see that different look in his eyes. He's becoming a lot more confident about what he's doing out there. So you just stop after one hand signal, see if he knows what he's doing? Yeah, he'd probably be right 50% of the time. Uh -huh. Yeah. Do you have a plan for the backup quarterback spot? I know Jim was talking that. He's going to be watching that. And Jerry yeah, I think that's our number one our number one, you know, deal right now. And nobody, you know, Jerry's had had some good moments out, out there. Asante's going through that learning curve that all young quarterbacks go through where, you know, it's a really it's, it's one really good one and like two really bad ones and then one really good one. So tomorrow, Saturday, hopefully we can get like two really good ones and two really bad ones and two really good ones. But uh, yeah, and, and Mike Mike has been sick. You know, so he hasn't had a chance to get out there much. So it's a good young group of guys, and so I think those guys are battling. What's your impression of Craig Lee so far in two practices? Um, you know, he's doing a good job. They're all doing a good job back there. Yeah. You know, I can look good without, without when they're not really tackling me, right? Let's see. Let, you know. Well, let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't? No. <laughs> With Brett, does he give maybe more input, or can you tell? Is he... Oh, I see him taking about. charge out there, you know. I see him, you know, getting after some guys when they're not doing things right. And, you know, understanding, you know, not only the protection schemes, but the run schemes and where the problems are. And, and you know, good quarterbacks fix your problems for you out there. And I think he's starting to do things like that for us. How much did maybe him spending that time with NFL TV? I thought it was invaluable. Let me just think, what a great deal. Sit in a room for eight hours with Philip Rivers and watch film and, you know, and go out on the field and get a throw with him and uh, be around, you know, a guy like that who's just a class act, you know, and a great, great NFL quarterback to be, you know, to get spent some time with Garcia. And, and even when T Tim came in and spent, I mean, that was awesome. Came in and talked to him about leadership and, you know, he, he won a Heisman, he won a national championship. So those were all things I, I think were, uh, were awesome for Brett. And he was really, really in tune to it and was like, really soaking up all the information he could. So it was cool. How much was he talking to you and Taylor this offseason? Mm -hmm. How much was he talking to you guys about, you know, trying to really understand the offense and every the day. games and everything? Yeah, every day, yeah. I mean, we talked, yeah. I mean, he, he was by the office all the time, uh, you know, understanding things. And then we, you know, we'd get him with some of those other guys and sit in there and, and talk football with him. So, no, he's, he's really... He's really 
put his arms around the whole thing and, and, and wants to be good. And Simon out with an injury and Torian's not there anymore. Is that, it seems like you feel a little bit more confident in the offensive line. Even, even yeah, we're, st you know, I'd still like a couple, you know, we'd still like a little bit more. You know, we're still down a little bit in numbers, you know, just for depth. But I think that the young group we got, it's one of these years, if I just hang around long enough, <laughs> I might be actually say, okay, we got four senior linemen coming back and see all these young guys. But no, I'm really happy with that group. Very athletic group. How do those three guys, you know, Scott, uh, Alex, and Caleb look compared to the end of last season? How do they? How do they look compared to the end of last uh, Well, Alex's hand, you know, like I said, it's the same thing as far as, you know, obviously there's, there's just because they've been here a year now, they're a little more comfortable with what's going on, and they've heard things a number of times now. Um, so, you know, to me, we don't play with any more freshmen. They may be freshmen, but we don't count them as freshmen. They've been around long enough that, that, that they should understand what we're trying to get done. I mean, we were just trying to get them off the bus into the, you know, to the game before. Now they should kind of understand what's going on. All right, guys. Cool.